So you want to start an Etsy shop selling digital products, but you don't know where to begin, what to create, or you've tried it and it's not really working out for you. Well, by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to find digital products that will actually sell before you start creating them. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm all about selling digital products online. Why? Because they're low maintenance, they create passive income, you'll never run out of stock, they'll serve you forever, and the list goes on. If you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Okay, so this is a little embarrassing to admit, but I've opened two Etsy shops selling digital products in the last couple of years and both of them failed. I barely made any sales because I had no idea what I was doing, so I closed both shops down, I went back to the drawing board, I opened a new shop a few months ago, did my research, implemented proper strategies, and now I basically make daily sales in this new shop. So after failing and learning, I now have a successful shop, so now it's your turn. I'm going to be sharing a lot of details in this video on how I would validate the market before I start creating a new product, so you're going to want to grab a pen and paper and take notes. Let's go over five digital product ideas I have for you in detail, and by the end of the video, I'll share five more that you can also check out. The first digital product idea that will definitely do really well is wedding invitation templates. And it doesn't just have to be invitations, it could be seating charts, menus, thank you tags, and it doesn't just have to be weddings. It could be for a baby shower, a bridal shower, a birthday, you name it. So let's head over to my computer really quickly and validate the market. Okay, so I'm going to be using a tool called Marmalade. This is a keyword search tool for Etsy. Honestly, I swear by Marmalade, I love it. I do all my keyword research on here when I list my products, and I also use it to find new products that could potentially do well before I create them. Now, Marmalade is a paid subscription, but you can grab the 14-day free trial and do your research within those two weeks and cancel at any time. So I'm going to start with the search tool feature, and this is where you can type in any broad keyword. So I'm going to start with the keyword wedding invitation template. Now the first thing that Marmalade is going to show you is the number of searches, engagement, and competition. You want high engagement because that means people are searching for it, they're buying the products, which is great, but there's also high competition. So the marketplace is competitive, that's no secret. And that's why you want to narrow down what you're actually offering. So basically niche down or get more specific on your product. There's a lot of features that I can go over, but I'm gonna to scroll to the very bottom to show you something very important. Right here, it says long tail alternatives. And these are a bunch of keywords that Marmalade is suggesting and if I look here, I'm going to focus on high engagement and lower competition. I see simple wedding invitation template download. It's high engagement and it's lower competition. So that means that that's something that I would write down. I would write down more simple wedding invitations. Maybe a lot of people are searching and purchasing simpler, modern, minimal wedding invitations, but there's not that much competition on it. So that's something I would write down. Let's try another broad keyword. I'm going to type in wedding invitations. Okay, so again, we have high searches, high engagement, but very high competition. You want high engagement, but you do want to narrow down the competition because it's going to be really, really difficult for you to rank for this keyword. So again, let's scroll to the bottom and see what Marmalade is suggesting. So here I'm seeing royal blue wedding invitations. There's high engagement and low competition. So I would write that down as an idea and I would potentially create wedding invitations and stationery in general, that's royal blue. There's another one here that says black and gold wedding invitations, that's also an option. Now let's head over to Etsy because I wanna show you another tactic. So I'm on the homepage of Etsy right now and I'm just gonna to go to the search bar and I'm going to type in wedding invitation template. So now I'm just going to scroll through and see if I can find some bestsellers or a specific style that's really popular. People are purchasing it a lot, they're reviewing it a lot, and that's going to give you a sign that this is something that people are searching for and they're buying. Now, you don't want to copy, you just want to get inspiration from other sellers and validate the market. You want to find styles that are popular, but then add your own twist to it. So for example, this one here, simple wedding invitation template, which is perfect because 
we saw that a simple wedding invitation template on Marmalade was high engagement and low competition. And that's probably why this one is getting a lot of sales. So if you click on the product or any products that you see, take a look at the most recent reviews. You want to make sure that people have been reviewing it recently. You don't want to find a product that's been reviewed a few years ago and it really hasn't been making many sales. That gives you a clear indication that it's trending, people are still buying it, and they're leaving reviews. If you want to create wedding invitation templates, there's many options. I recommend template, cordial, or Canva. Okay, the second digital product idea I have for you is printable wall art. Now this is an item that I sell in my shop. To be honest with you, before I started selling this product, I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know that I could create digital art that customers would purchase and they would print themselves from home or at a local printing store. And yes, this product does really well, especially if you can niche down. So similar to the wedding invitation templates, let's validate this market only in a slightly different way. Back on Marmalade, I'm going to use the same feature, which is the search tool, and I'm going to type printable wall art. I'm doing this specifically to make sure that people are searching and they're purchasing this type of product. Okay, so that's super high in searches and super high in engagement, which is good. Competition is high, so we're going to want to niche down, narrow down your product, and this time we're going to use Etsy only and not Marmalade. So let's go to Etsy. Okay, so in the search bar, I'm going to type in printable wall art. And you'll notice that Etsy is already populating a few options for me that people are searching. So I'm seeing set of three, Christmas, given the time of year, set of two, abstract, boho. So there's a bunch that you can click on. These are clearly popular searches right now. I'm just going to try abstract. And I'm going to use the same method I used in the last product research to check for best sellers, some popular trends that I could add my own style to. And there seems to be a lot of bestsellers under abstract. So you'll start to see patterns. And this is great research for you because again, you don't want to copy, but you want to take inspiration and see what twist that you can add to it to make it your own. Comment below and let me know if this is making sense and if it's getting you super excited about the many possibilities that you could get into. Give me a yes in the comments. Now let's move on. The third digital product idea is resume and cover letter templates. Now the reason this is one of my favorites is because you'll see when we go to validate the market, this one has high engagement and low competition, which is the sweet spot. That's what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, let's take a look at resume templates. Now, like I said, look at the searches, the engagements and the competition. There's really high engagement and low competition. So this is an amazing product to get into. So if I scroll to the bottom, oh, there it is. You can see CV template professional, high engagement and lower competition. That's exactly what you want. And there's a lot of other options here that you can use in your keywords. If you do create resume templates and cover letter templates, these are keywords that you can add in, in your titles, your descriptions and your tags. And then if I take a look at the long tail alternatives, resume and cover letter template, high engagement, low competition, which is amazing. And you can create these even on a Word document. I've seen a lot of other sellers creating resumes and cover letters as templates in a Word document. So when someone purchases it, they just receive the Word document that they can edit themselves. Okay, we're on number four of the digital product list, and that is digital planners. This is another product that I personally enjoy creating and I sell in my shop as well. So let's do some research on this one using Marmalade, but again, a different feature. Okay, I wanna show you a different feature on Marmalade and that is Storm. Storm is amazing. So you type in a keyword at the top and it will start populating a bunch of other ideas that are similar to your topic, but it's just different suggestions that you can potentially get into. So let's type in digital planner. And I'm going to go through all these ideas. It shows me the number of searches, the engagement and the competition. So usually I look for green across the board or at least the engagement and competition to be green. So I'm gonna scroll down and just take a look. There's academic planner, that looks pretty good. I see student planner, habit tracker, that's a good one. So I'm actually going to add that into my pool of keywords. So when you click on this arrow, it adds to this sort of bucket of 
keywords that you have selected from here. And as you do that, Marmalade is going to keep populating new ones that are more similar to what you're choosing. So let's keep going down. Expense tracker, that looks pretty good. Initiative tracker. So again, these are all types of planners. You don't have to just do daily and weekly planners. You don't have to do just a regular printable calendar. You can get very specific because the more specific you get, the better results you get in general. And we are on number five of the list, which is Instagram and Pinterest templates. This is another favorite of mine because another one that has high engagement and low competition. So let's take a look. So I'm going to type in Instagram template. And you can see the engagement is high and the competition is not too low, but it's also not too high. So I would personally get into this one if I was just starting out. And I didn't point this out, but you can see the trends of when certain products are popular. So right now I'm recording this in December. It's showing me that January and February, it's going to be really popular. So that's something that I would encourage someone to get into now. And if I scroll down and take a look here, I can see other sellers that are offering this type of product and you can see their kit. It's a bunch of Instagram templates because for a small business owner, they really don't have that much time to post on Instagram every single day. So templates are amazing. So if you can offer a bundle of, let's say 20 to 30 branded templates, so similar colors and fonts, that would be super helpful for small businesses. Now let's scroll to the bottom and see if there are any long tail keywords that are helpful. Okay, here, so I'm seeing Canva template Instagram, which is amazing because you can create your templates on Canva. And the fact that people are searching for that specifically means that I would create it specifically on Canva because it's obviously easier to use for a lot of people. So that's super valuable information. So I promised you five more digital product ideas that you can also do some research on, and they are printable greeting cards, business card templates, invoice templates for small business owners, thank you card templates, and printable stickers. Now, you know what's better than 10 digital product ideas? 20 digital product ideas. Be sure to grab my free guide in the description box below of 20 digital product ideas that you can sell online. Some products you can sell on Etsy, Amazon, or your own Shopify website, and others are more robust and involved, so be sure to grab your copy. Be sure to check out my video on how to build passive income with your Etsy shop and how to start your graphic design side hustle from home. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.